tonight on a very special Rotten House. Okay guys, so I got the big, 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 big pumpkin up. I didn't go through showing you those steps because it was a little bit of a bitch. But, see here, got a chair, some egg crates that are all tied together. And then that's looped in to this, which is precariously stacked here, precariously stacked here. So, eh, it might not work, but, you know, I guess we'll see. It looks good, though. So, as you can see, I've got our gigantic blow-up gone. Up. He's looking good. And, of course, I didn't use any of the stuff they had on him from before. They have a couple cords, so I just tied them in. This is stuff I've already got up. And here you can see, tied it up there. And then down here, you can see that I've got it pinned in right there. You can see that. And it holds pretty well. So, yeah, let's scoot back so you can see the whole picture. And that's going to be... The cemetery is going to start there and come all the way down through here to over there. And that's what I'm working on today. The cemetery. Okay, guys, I've got a lot of stuff done. Um, this is the last time I put her there, but now I started working on my graveyards. And I have a mixture of different poles here. This is just a, um, like a garden post uh, marker. This is... Um, like a um, holder for a garden thing. Use these, cut these up. This is an old shelf I used to have that I cut the pieces off of just so I have little things to uh, stick the um, headstones in the ground. I got a couple of the ones that came with the products, but they suck. So, as you can see, I got some headstones up. Working on putting these fellers up. And I plan on stacking the rest of these here up. So let's see what I'm going for. <laughs> yeah. That cemetery's gonna be here again this year. Just like that. So, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll show you me staking one of them in. They're kind of a pain in the ass. So, guys, I'm gonna show you on one of the um, bigger tombstones that I got. I made this one here. Um, but what we do is you can see it's all beat up. It's got little holes in the bottom here. So I just marked it where I wanted it by laying it down. Make sure it looked all right. And I'm going to take these little uh, garden spiky things that I've got here, as you can see. I'm just going to stick it in the ground. I mean, it doesn't have to be too deep. It doesn't have to be much. It's got to be enough to hold the uh, tombstone up if the wind blows. So, put those there and then we just find some starter holes. They're normally pretty close to the same. And look at that. She didn't even measure it. Ugh, about perfection. There you go. Standing stone. So, uh, yeah, I just got to few dozen more to go with that and uh, we'll have the cemetery up and running now look at that oh yeah there's your semen tree I know I never uh, thought about this but somebody had commented on this the other day that this um, little bear trap thing that I made and it's just a um, just the cut off bottom of like a gallon jug. You can still see the, the writing from the this five gallon bucket there. You can see the writing. Anyways, I just cut the bottom off, cut the teeth on it, and then bolted them together right there and right there. Put a little chain around it. Um, so yeah, somebody asked me about that. That's how I did it. It's really uh, effective. It's easy to make too. So yeah. Hope I didn't film that sideways, but there you go. Rotten house.